guys. Third day, third day of Michigan. I'm in the afternoon, it's like 80 degrees. I'm looking over a little acorn island. There's a lot of acorns dropping and I see they're feeding on it. And there's a little scrape. I mean, here, um, I think I'm gonna, gonna wait out for a decent buck because I'm kind of in the middle of the swamp. So we'll see, I'm set up in a really small acorn tree. I don't know, eight, eight feet off the ground. So hopefully everything goes well. to talk a little bit about my observations from that from that hunt um, it was really cool to see their innate behaviors and also what sounds that the deer tolerated and what they didn't um, so here's a drawing to kind of represent my hunt and then this is north and then I had a south wind so the wind was blowing from the south that way. I was positioned right here. And then on this island, there's just this little clearing right in the middle. And then everything else around was really brushy. And so when the deer first filtered in, they filtered in over here. And then what they did was not go directly into the middle um, in the clearing. They actually stayed in this brushy area, went all the way around for about 15, 20 minutes. And then once they felt comfortable, it seemed like that's when they all started to filter in the middle. And that was really cool to see. And so in retrospect, maybe some of the hunts that I had in the past where I, where I shot through some brush and had a difficult shot, maybe had I just waited another 10, 15 minutes, maybe they would have came out into the clearing and I was able to get an easier shot. Um, in terms of sound, it was, Really cool to see. There's a ton of sounds, of course, acorns dropping, making all types of noises. And then the deer didn't seem to mind that. There were deer filtering all around the, in the swamp around the area. And the deer didn't seem to mind that either. So that was really interesting to see. I thought that they would be um, on high alert from those sounds. Um, and there was this one fawn, this particular fawn that kept sneezing or something, like trying to get something out of his nostrils, and it wasn't able to get whatever it is out. And it was kind of like a small blowing noise, and the deer didn't mind that either. Um, but what was interesting was in another part of the swamp, there was, there was a deer that was blowing really hard, like high alert, and then you see all the deer on the island just like perk up their heads and ears. Um, but it was probably a minute or two when they realized that there wasn't any danger. Then um, they just went back to eating. So it was interesting to to witness that. And in retrospect, again, um, you can probably get away with doing making more noise than you think. But at the same time, depending on the noise, they the deer would probably react differently. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk about that.